If you're about to launch a product on Amazon and you wanna learn how to get those initial reviews, or if you're already selling a product on Amazon and you wanna learn how to get more reviews, then this video is for you. Because in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to get loads of reviews on Amazon for your product safely within Amazon's terms of service without getting your account suspended. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so what I wanna do is just kind of kick things off by looking at what a review roadmap would look like for your product. So what you would start off by doing is getting some initial reviews for your product. Once you have those initial reviews, you can go into your product launch. You wanna make sure you have some initial reviews before you go into your full product launch because the more reviews you have, the higher your conversion rate is gonna be and the more successful your launch is gonna be. Then once you've launched your product, you then need to have a way to get reviews consistently on autopilot for your product. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna be looking at both um, roadmap points one and three. So how to get those initial reviews and then once you're launched, how to then get lots of reviews consistently on autopilot. So let's kick things off by looking at how you can actually get your initial reviews on Amazon. Now, one of the ways that you will hear talked about the most on YouTube is getting friends and family to buy your product and leave reviews for your product. And this is because it's the cheapest and easiest way really to get your initial reviews. Now, all you do is you'd get your friends and family to buy maybe 10 products um, spaced out over a certain amount of time and then leave you reviews. Now, the thing is, there's a big problem with this method. And the problem is, is that it's actually against Amazon's terms of service. Obviously, Amazon know that if you're gonna be getting friends and family to buy your product and leave reviews, those reviews are gonna be biased, okay? They're gonna be positively biased towards you. So if Amazon actually finds out that you've done anything like this, it can be really, really dangerous for your account. So I would not recommend using this technique. So what I wanna do in this video is not just talk about all the techniques that I would recommend, but I also wanna talk about the things that you shouldn't be doing, because that's really important to know. So. I would not recommend getting friends and family to leave you product reviews because if caught by Amazon, right, they'll suspend your account and it's just not worth the risk, especially if you're a new seller. Imagine how demoralizing it would be if you put all this time and effort and money into launching a product and then your account gets suspended. So don't use friends and family. Instead, what I'd recommend doing is using something called the Vine program. And if you've never heard of the Vine program before, essentially it's Amazon's it's an Amazon program that allows you to pay to get your initial reviews. So yes, Amazon doesn't allow you to buy reviews off the Amazon platform. It doesn't allow you to get friends and family to leave reviews, but for some reason it's fine to pay Amazon to get you reviews. Unfair, but there you go, right? Amazon is all about making money. And obviously because this is an Amazon program, it's 100% within Amazon's terms of service. So when getting your initial reviews for your product, what you wanna be doing is using this Vine program. So let's talk a little bit about how this Vine program works. So essentially the way that it works is that you pay Amazon 140 pounds. This is per ASIN. This will then enroll your ASIN into the Vine program. Once your ASIN's enrolled into the Vine program, what will then happen is Vine voices will be able to see your product and they'll be able to claim your product for free. So what is a Vine voice? Well, essentially a Vine voice is a Amazon customer who leaves loads of really detailed reviews on Amazon. Amazon will then contact that customer and say, hey, we really like the look of your really detailed reviews. Would you like to be part of this Vine Voices program? Once they become part of the Vine Voices program, they get access to this platform where they can claim free products in return for them leaving a detailed review for the product. So what will then happen is the, these Vine Voices will be able to see your product. They'll be able to claim up to 30 units across 30 different Vine Voices. And then those Vine Voices will go ahead and leave you a product review. What you tend to find is that somewhere between 80 and 100% of those Vine Voices will leave you a review. So you tend to get somewhere between 25 and 30 reviews for those three, for those 30 free units that you've actually sent out to those Vine voices. Now, what's so great about this Vine program is not only do you just get ratings or really shortly written reviews, these Vine voices go in, okay? They really write really long reviews. Um, and what you'll see is the reviews also have this little tag that says Vine customer review of a free product. And what we tend to find is that 
customers really trust Vine voices, right? Customers know who these people are. And if it has this little green uh, tag that says Vine customer or Vine voice, customers tend to trust these reviews more than standard reviews. So by using this Vine program, you get really long reviews that are trusted by customers and they tend to have images or videos attached. And images and videos in reviews can be so good for your conversion rate, okay? That's what customers wanna see when they're looking at reviews. So this buying program is awesome for getting really high quality reviews. Okay, so that's all great, but how do you actually go about enrolling a product into this Vine program? Well, what you wanna do is sign into Seller Central. Once you're in Seller Central, you wanna to go to your menu and then click on Advertising. Once you're in Advertising, you want to click on Vine, and then this will take you to the page where you can enroll your ASINs. Now, it's important to note that there are a few cons for you with using the Vine program, so you may not want to use it depending on your product type. Now, the first con is that it can be quite expensive. So number one, you've got the 140 pound enrollment fee, which in my opinion is completely worth getting 30 uh, you know, really high, highly detailed reviews. But where it can be expenses, expensive is if your product has a high sale price or a high cost price. If you're selling a cheap product, giving away 30 units is not gonna cost you very much. If you are selling a very expensive product and let's say each of your units cost you 50, 100 pounds, giving away 30 units to uh, the Vine program, to these Vine voices can be very expensive for you. So if you have a very expensive product, you might not want to use the Vine program. The second con is that you have to be brand registered. So you have to have a trademark for your brand and your brand has to be enrolled in Amazon's brand registry. Now, if you have not got a trademark for your brand or you haven't enrolled in brand registry, well, I'll put up a couple of videos just up here somewhere and also down in the description of videos that I put out that will talk you through exactly how to register for a trademark and how to enroll in Amazon brand registry. Now, the final con is that Vine reviews are more thorough and as a result they tend to be a little bit more critical. So what this tends to mean is that if you have a really high quality product and you're confident in the product's performance then go ahead use this Vine program. If you have a cheaper product and you're not 100% confident in the quality of your product, which you really should be, but if you're not, then you probably do not want to use this Vine product program because your product really will get torn to shreds by these Vine reviewers, okay? So those are the situations when you should or shouldn't use the Vine program. Now that's just a brief overview of the Vine program, but if you wanna know more about how the Vine program works and a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to enroll your products into the Vine program, then I'll put a video up here and again down in the description to a video I put out a while ago that walks you through the exact steps in enrolling into the Vine program. Okay guys, let's go and have a look at that roadmap again. So at this point, you would have got your initial 30 reviews through the Amazon Vine program. Now you can move on to actually launching your product. And when launching your product, I'd also recommend a PPC only launch. Again, I've got videos about exactly how to go about that, which I'll link down to in the description. So make sure you check those out. Then once you've launched your product, you really then move need to move on to setting up systems to make sure that you get lots of reviews consistently on autopilot. And that's what I wanna focus on for the rest of this video. So when thinking about getting reviews, getting consistent reviews, um, one way that people often talk about is using insert cards. And essentially what an insert card is, is having information on a card that's then inserted into the product packaging so that the customer can open it. When they take out the product, they find this card and on the card, it asks the customer to leave a review. Now I'm a bit of an Amazon nerd, obviously. So I keep all of the insert cards that I receive when I order products on Amazon. I've taken a picture and given you an example of one I received recently asking me to leave a review. So what it asks is, whether I'm satisfied or not. And then it says, if you're satisfied and please leave us a review and it walks you through exactly how to leave a review inside your Amazon account. Now, I've got a question for you guys who are watching this, right? Do you think that insert cards are a good way to get consistent reviews? Yes or no, right? Well, the answer is no, okay? And let me explain why. The reason why I do not recommend using insert cards to get reviews is because people don't leave reviews before they've used the product. The point of contact with an insert card is as soon as a customer opens a product, right? They see this insert card, ask them to leave a review, but the customer is not gonna leave a review before they use the product. By the time they use the product, the packaging and the insert card are in the bin and they don't even remember seeing them. So in my experience of working you know, with all of my clients and my own products, insert cards just don't work very well at increasing the number of reviews you get. The second issue with insert cards is they're a real gray area in the Amazon's terms of service. 
You technically can use them, but you're not allowed to ask for a review only if the customer is satisfied. You're not allowed to ask for a positive review. You just have to be so careful with your wording and you can get into trouble if you word it, you know, word the insert card wrong. That's why I just recommend avoiding them totally. So instead, what I'd recommend is that you use something called the request a review button. And this is a button on your order pages that will get Amazon to email the customer, ask them to review the product, right? And this is crazy, you probably don't even, you know, if you've never heard of this before, you're thinking right now, right, really? What, there's a button that they can press that gets Amazon to email the customer and ask them to leave a review? Yes, there is. And let me show you what it looks like. So if you go into one of your order pages, in the top right-hand corner, what you'll see is a button, button that says request a review. If you click that button, what will happen is Amazon will email the customer something that looks just like this. They'll say, did your recent Amazon order meet your expectations? Review it on Amazon. And I'll ask them to click a star rating out of five here. And now that I'm showing you this, you've probably received one of these emails if you buy from Amazon, but you may not have realized that the customers actually clicked this button to get this email to be sent. Now, when the customer receives this, if they click on that, they'll then be taken over to the Amazon account and be asked to leave a star rating and a full review. And by using this request a review button, you can massively increase the number of customers who actually leave you a product review or rating, okay? So this is one of the best things to use. Now, the one problem with this method is that obviously you have to click a button manually, which you don't wanna to have to do. But the cool thing is you don't actually have to do this manually. What you can do is you can use something called the follow-ups tool inside Helium 10 to actually automate this whole process, right? And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that now. Now guys, if you're not already using Helium 10, you really need to be using it. It really is the best all-in-one suite of tools for Amazon selling, and you can get a discount by using the link in the description. I'll also put the discount codes at the bottom of this video. So to be able to set up this automation, what you wanna do is log into Helium 10 and then click on this follow-ups tab. Once in follow-ups, 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 you wanna click on email automation. Then once in this email automation area, you wanna click on new automation and you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. Then you wanna do, what you wanna do is then click on the request a review automation. What this is gonna do is load a page that looks like this which is essentially a pre-made template for automating this process of requesting uh, a review through that button. And what you'll see is this timeline or this flow down here. So what it shows is that once the order is delivered, it will trigger a seven day wait and you can change the amount of time, but I'd recommend waiting seven days before you actually request the review. And I'll explain why in a sec. It will wait seven days and then after seven days, it will click that request a review button for every single order that's been delivered. Now, the reason why I recommend waiting those seven days is going back to that point that customers don't leave reviews as soon as they get a product. You wanna give the customer seven days to use the product, right? Actually get a feel for what the product's about. So when you hit them, hit them with that request a review button with that email from Amazon, they've had enough time to use it and they're happy to go ahead and leave a review. Now, once this is all set up, every single order that gets delivered, seven days later, Helium 10 is gonna click that button for you automatically and Amazon's gonna send them that email. So as you can see, this is an awesome way to increase the number of reviews you're getting consistently on autopilot without even having to click a button yourself once this is all set up. Now the other option in this Helium 10 follow-ups tool is instead of clicking that request a review button automatically, what you can get them to do is actually use the buyer seller messages within Amazon to actually send the customer a custom message, a custom email that you've written asking them to leave a review. In my experience, I've tested both sending your own email, your own custom email, or clicking that request a review button where Amazon sends the email. And in my experience, Amazon sending the email it actually leads to a higher conversion rate, a higher number of people actually leaving a review. So that's what I'd recommend doing over sending custom emails. Now, I just wanna finish this video by talking about two more methods to get loads of reviews on Amazon that people for some reason just don't really talk about that much. And the first of those is having a high quality product. Now, this might sound obvious, but this is so important. If you don't have a very high quality product, then none of the other techniques that I've talked about in this video will work. 
If you have a low quality product, you're gonna get torn to shreds by the Vine voices in the Vine program. Even if you are sending out loads of review requests with that request a review button, if customers aren't happy with the quality of your product, all you're doing is just inviting them to leave you a bad review. So this needs to be a basic foundation. Before you even look at the other techniques, the first thing you should be doing it's making sure you have a very high quality product. And by doing that, customers are gonna be so happy with the product that they're gonna go out of their way to leave you a positive review. The second thing, the second kind of method to get lots of reviews that people really rarely talk about is including a free gift or an extra. The best way to get a customer to take time out of their day to log into their computer and leave you a positive review is to kind of over exceed their expectations. And a great way to do that is to include something with the product that they didn't expect to get. So for example, let's say you're selling a laptop stand, what you could do is bundle that laptop stand with a carry case. Or if you're selling a water bottle, you could bundle that water bottle with a set of cleaning brushes, but don't advertise it on your product listing. So when the customer orders the product, they don't expect to receive anything else apart from the water bottle or the laptop stand. And then when they receive it, they're gonna get this extra gift. They're gonna get something extra than they that they didn't expect to get. That's gonna please them. And as a result, they're gonna go out of their way to leave you a positive review. So this is an awesome method that very few people talk about. Now the con to this method obviously is that it's really helpful to be able to uh, advertise anything you're bundling your product with in your product listing to increase the conversion rate. By not advertising it, you don't get that advantage, but it can be really helpful for reviews. Okay guys, so to summarize and bring everything together, the first thing that you wanna be doing, and this is the most important thing, is to make sure you have a really high quality product that customers are gonna love. You may also wanna consider throwing in a free gift which they didn't know about. Once you've done that, you then want to enroll your product into the Amazon Vine program to get your initial 30 reviews. Once you've got your initial reviews, you then want to use the Helium 10 follow-ups tool to set up automation of the clicking of that request a review button for every single order that you get. Now, if you do all of those steps, I guarantee you, you're gonna get a huge amount of reviews and it's all gonna be within Amazon's terms of service. So your account is gonna be 100% safe. Um, and that is gonna give you a massive advantage over your competitors. So guys, I hope that you found this video useful. If you have, let me know how in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.